my name is Dr. Julia Warren, and I'm an assistant professor of pediatrics at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia Division of Hematology and the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm really passionate about neutropenia in particular. It's a disease of the white blood cells that causes the neutrophils, which are a key infection fighting cell, to be too low. And when neutrophils are too low, our patients are at increased risk for what can be life-threatening infections, but also some really serious other side effects like mouth sores, other um, gastrointestinal problems. We hear a lot of patients have very severe fatigue and, um, and some patients can go on to develop blood cancers that are related to their underlying disorder. Um, so neutropenia is really a broad category of disorders when we say chronic neutropenia, and it can encompass patients who can have a genetic change that leads to the neutropenia, or that probably have something happening in their immune system that causes their neutrophil counts to be low and may also go along with other impacts on their immune system. So it's really a pretty broad range of diseases um, that fall into that category of chronic neutropenia disorders. Um, as I mentioned, some patients can have a genetic change that causes their neutrophils to have a hard time being formed in the bone marrow, which is the part of the body that helps us form all of our blood cells. Um, so for patients where it's a genetic change, it could be that it runs in the family, or it could be that they're the very first member of their family to have a neutropenia disorder. For other patients, we wish we knew more. We um, don't always know why patients develop neutropenia, but for those patients who don't have a genetic cause of their neutropenia, who seem to be able to make some neutrophils, just not, not enough, not as many as their body needs, we suspect that these patients are able to make neutrophils, but that their own body's immune system may be destroying them. And it's really important to help patients understand that if that happens to them, they didn't do anything to cause it. They didn't, you know, eat something. They didn't do something uh, at their work. Most likely they didn't do an activity that caused that to happen. It's, it's just something that appears to happen to some people and not to others. Um, we often also hear parents ask us, um, is there something I did, you know, that did I feed my child something? Did I do something when I was pregnant? Did I do something when they were, you know, growing up? And, um, and, and really the answer is no, it's um, especially in those immune system causes, we, we don't really know why they happen.